but we have a championship caliber matchup for you. The finale between Joe Meisner and Noah Muir. And the key here is that Joe is so fast on the rope that he essentially made up all of the time that Noah might have made up on him throughout. Are we going? Okay, sorry. The key to this race, Will, is that Joe is so fast on the rope that he was able to make up all of the time Noah saves on the entire rest of the course and some. Noah's really going to have to put the screws to Joe and do something incredible. I think he might even want to think about skipping the rest after Gerger and into Monster Pond. Oh boy, that's it's going to be a tough race for both of them. They're both very strong, very fast competitors, and this could go either way. I would not be surprised if either one of them won, and I think it's about time we find out who won. Well, the moment is here, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Schwartz is going to count them in. Let's go to the start line. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for one final race. A race to determine the grand champion of the gauntlet. To my right, in the blue lane, he is 19 years old, representing the Movement Lab from New Egypt, New Jersey, Joseph Meissner. And to my left, in the red lane, a mere 15 years of age, from Lakeville, Massachusetts, representing Vitality Obstacle Fitness, our top seeded qualifier, Noah Munier! Gentlemen, congratulations on having made it this far. May the best challenger win. Noah, the top seed in the close qualifier, but Joe has beaten that record. It is time to find out who has the most left in the tank, who can beat this course the fastest, because, Will, I think you're going to have to beat this course in this matchup. Uh, if any past uh, indication is, is shown that you're going to have to, completely agree. And both these men are just, they're, they're pumped, they're just rearing to go. And we're going to see a champion reach the top of the tower. That I'm calling that right now. And uh, I, I'm still sticking with my pick with Joe. Well, two of our three analysts had Noah. And they are, I don't want to say rooting for Noah, because we, we're mainly just rooting for a great race. Yeah. OK, yeah, so go for it. Chris says, Chris Chris says, says good. Go. All right. Gentlemen. Hey, we are joined hey. in the commentary booth by hey, the dude, best sir. in the business, Greg Schwartz, for Thank this you. incredible matchup. Noah Munier and Joe Meisner. What a, what a day it's been, guys. Oh, it's been exciting. Really Absolutely quick, amazing. really quick, who's your pick? For this one? Yeah. Okay. My pick for this race, I, you know, honestly, Noah is incredible, but I've seen Joe competing for a while now, and Dude, especially after that that epic finish he had earlier, I, I gotta go with Joe. All right. Well, you're amongst friends here, but our analysts the analysts picked Noah from the beginning, so we're gonna have to see. Dude, is who, in, Noah is incredible. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I would not expect. I would. I would not. I would not be surprised if Noah won. But here we go. Here we go. Noah, the top qualifier, but Joe has the course record. They are into it. Ooh. Noah's using the back again. Joe, the front. And Joe taking a lead that is not where Noah wants to be. Yeah, Joe absolutely has had the best time on the rope. So Noah needs to extend a lead as best as he can. Once again, Joe going for the pocket chalk, allowing Noah to take a bit of a lead on boardwalk. Makes the grab of that vertical board. Uh, pretty fast catch up for Joe, though. Yeah, this this. This grab is very important. It can be a huge time sink if you're not careful. I would have liked to see Joe go on that first swing. And now far. Noah going right for zigzag. He knows he has some ground to make up on the rope. And so far, he is putting the distance on Joe Meisner. But here comes Joe Meisner on the zigzag. Noah will rest after Girder, But how long will he be able to? 
What does Joe Meisner have left in the tank? And for that matter, what does Noah? Gentlemen, I got to get on top of the tower for the celebrations. You guys are doing great. Awesome match. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Greg. And now it has down to these two athletes on two obstacles. And Noah knows he has to go first, and he does. Joe Meisner right behind him. Oh, these two are neck and neck which is not good for Noah based on past times, but that doesn't mean he can't go faster than ever before. Good grab for Noah on the eight footer. Joe, the same. And Noah, the earliest onto the rope, but he's gonna have to go quickly because Joe Miser's right behind him and we know what he can do here. Okay, Joe makes the 180 transfer and he is, we're caught up. He is caught up and he has taken the lead. Noah's gotta fly, but Joe Miser is flying faster. Oh my goodness. We might have another course record here. Joe, Joe, My, Joe Meisner is inches away from victory. Noah's right behind him, Joe Meisner. Joe Meisner has done it. Done it. Joe Meisner is the first gauntlet pro obstacle champion. And he did a record time to 154.64. Beating his previous record by just one second. And Noah presenting the trophy to Joe. Noah has been incredible all weekend. A 157 from Noah, unthinkable, just 20 minutes ago. But he has stood defeated to Joe Meisner in one of the most incredible races I have ever seen. I'm in awe right now because before, before this tournament started, we weren't sure if we were gonna see sub two. Both of our first and second place finishers just did sub two. That was incredible. Joe, Joe Meisner, I mean, knew he was up against a tall order with the previous course record holder, beating his own course record, Noah beating his own record by almost 30 seconds. It, Will, I am paid to try to say words, and it is hard for me to come up with them right now because I am just so in awe of what we've just seen. You know what, I, I got some words for you. I think this goes to show what happens when two top level athletes are going up against each other. They push each other to go even further. The old saying, steel sharpening steel. We just saw that right there. The two best athletes of this tournament pushing each other to the limit to improve themselves and finish in record time. That was exactly what I was hoping for. 2.86 seconds separated these two athletes. That was the closest race we've had in the men or the women. They both went the distance and really both of them would have earned the victory, but Joe Meisner standing victorious and we are gonna send it up to the top of the tower where Greg Schwartz, who was just down here a moment ago, already back up there, about to preside over our award ceremony. And present Joe <laughs> with the trophy. We're running out of words. To the truest champion of all champions, with amazing grit, tenacity, and perseverance, our gold medal winner and the gauntlet grand champion, Joseph Meister. Well, that closes things out here from Gloucester County Fairgrounds. From William Marchese, I'm Alice Cunningham, and we will see you next time on the Gauntlet Pro Obstacle Challenge.